Hello guys, this is Hacker 13 and in this video I want to show you guys on how to get a dock which can be customized to look like a Mac OS X dock for Windows XP, Vista, and 7. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to your default internet browser. In my case, I am using Google Chrome. You want to go to your search bar and go to this address which will be in the description to the right of this video. And this is the download for object doc. So you wanna click download now, and this page will come up. And if nothing pops up on in your internet browser to download, you can click this right here, and it will automatically pop up. And then you wanna make sure you save the file to your desktop. So once you have saved the object doc set up to your desktop, you wanna open it by double clicking. Then this should pop up right here, and you want to click Run. And the object dot installation should pop up. You want to make sure I agree the radio button is already checked. Then click Next, and you can choose where you want to save it, but leaving it in the default place is fine. It'll copy all the files. And then it'll say press the finish button to exit this installation. And then you will get you will then get an object doc shortcut on your desktop. So once you have successfully saved the object doc shortcut to your desktop, you want to double click it. And obviously a doc will pop up. This is basically the object doc. Just a small doc on your desktop where you can put various shortcuts and change the look. Adding programs to the dock is very easy. You just have to hold down on a program and drag it in. And then if you ever want to take it out of the dock, you just have to click and drag it out and you'll get a nice effect, a poof. And the dock comes with a certain theme that some may like and some may not like, but the theme can be changed very easily. Changing the dock settings is very easy. All you have to do is hover your mouse over the dock and right click on a region of the dock which does not contain an icon. So you don't want to right click like this. You want to right click so you're not hovered over an icon. And you want to click dock settings. In the general section you can, lo you can select to load the object dock at startup or even hide the windows taskbar but I would not recommend this. You can also change the performance options. If you do not have that much RAM, you can select Optimize for Memory, but if you do have lots of RAM, you can select Optimize for Performance, but I would say Optimize for Memory. And then for themes, you can download themes from online and change the theme of the dock very easily. You can change the docklets, the appearance by the icon size, and the, also the magnification, which means when you hover your mouse over an icon, how big the icons become. You can also change the positioning, whether you want at the top of the screen, the left of the screen, the right of the screen, but most people like it at the bottom of the screen. You can also reserve the edge of the screen. And you can also change the automatic distance from the edge, or you can change that by um, customizing how far from the edge it is. But I would, so I would recommend staying at the automatic distance from edge. And you can line it to the right, or you can line it to the left. But staying centered is the best. You can also change the effect of no effect, zoom effect, or even swing effect. Which, when you hover over an icon, they just kind of swing. But zoom effect is the most like a Mac, if that's what you are looking for. Then of course you have the dock contents, which you can choose to display my icons only, or display open windows along with my icons. Alright guys, if this video worked out for you, please rate 5 stars and subscribe. If you've had any problems with object dock, please feel free to send me a message on YouTube, or even leave a comment on this video. Therefore, me and other YouTubers can help you out. Also, if you want to know where I got this wallpaper from, I actually created it myself, and a link will be in the right to the description. So all the links will be in the description, including my Twitter links, the download link, and also the download link for the wallpaper. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.